Yes team, welcome to today's standing cool down. Got a beautiful sunset going on here in Dubai. A great setting to relax the body, release that lactic acid after a strenuous workout. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with our feet hip width apart. I'm gonna take both hands up here. Now I want you to step onto your left leg, reaching your left hand up, and we're just gonna alternate here. Really soft movements here. I'm just gonna use this to really stretch everything out in a real gentle way. Again, let all that lactic acid drain. Help us cool down. Good. Couple more here. Reach and reach. Good. From here, take your hands out. Big breath in. Breathe out. Take them down. Big breath in. Reaching up and breathing out. Good. From here, I want you to take your arm across here. I'm going to pull this in nice and tight, keeping your arm straight. Good. Now, what we do is four second breath in with a four second breath out. Breathe it in for one. Through your nose. Two, three, four. Breathe out. Four, three, two. One, good. Now breathe in again for four counts. One, two, three, four. Now as you breathe out, just squeeze your arm in closer. Breathe it out for four, three, two. Squeeze it in, one, and release. Other side, good. Same thing. Keep the arm nice and straight. Doesn't matter which arm you start with. I want to breathe in for four. One, two, three, four. Hold it at the top. And breathe out for four, three, two. Good. One more. Breathe it in for one. Two, three, four, hold. Now as you breathe it out, squeeze that arm in tight for three, two, one. And release, lovely. Good from here, I just want to do some real gentle twists here. It's really good for your upper body here. Sometimes you get really tight. Now upper back here will cause neck issues. It's really important. Make sure we're just loosening everything up. Excellent, good from here. We're just gonna to move to a quad stretch. You're more than welcome to use a chair or a sofa here. So what we're gonna do, Take one leg here, I'm taking my right leg opposite to you here. Now think about getting your knees in alignment. Once they're in alignment, push your hips forward and pull that knee back, okay? Breathe in. As you breathe out, push your hips forward and pull that knee back. And you feel that increased stretch there. Let's do it one more time. Breathe it in for one, two, three, four. Breathe it out for the four, three. Squeeze that leg back, two, one hand release, good, same thing on the side. Now if you are holding onto a sofa or a chair, what I want to do here is think about hovering off that chair, try and engage your core, build your stabilizers up, and it does come with practice, okay? So do have to put ourselves in a situation where we do feel a bit wobbly and we do are falling off balance because that builds up our stabilizers. Then you know, next thing you notice, you're quite stable in that position. Now push your hips forward, pull that knee back. Excellent, big breath in for four, three, two, one, and breathe out for four. Squeeze that leg back, three, two, one. Excellent, good. From here, we're just gonna to move to our hamstrings. What we're gonna do, take your leg, we're gonna flex that toe. I'm gonna to straighten my leg here. Right leg is bent, take your hands on the right leg, and think about flexing your toe towards your knee on that left leg, okay? Flex that toe, flex that toe. Lead from your low back and just lean forward. You're gonna feel that stretch down the back of your leg. Take a big breath in. As we breathe out, try and increase that stretch. If you're not feeling the stretch, the chances are you're rounded here. Think about lifting up, lead from your low back. You can feel a lovely stretch there. Hold it for three, breathing out, two, one. Excellent, same thing, other side. Flex our foot, pull that toe towards that knee. Keep your right leg straight, bend your left leg. Again, I'm doing the opposite to you here. Just mirroring you here, big breath in. Breathe out, squeeze forward, lead from the low back. Excellent. Well done. Here. Good. Now I'm taking you through a carter in the top corner. I'm going to show you an alternative you can do on a wall or a step if you've got one. Now what I'm going to do, take one foot forward into lunge. Take your back foot back here so your heel's off the ground. Now lean forward a little bit. Now press your back heel into the ground until you feel a lovely stretch down the back of that leg there. So it's on your calf, your lower leg muscle. This one's really important to do, especially if you've been doing a lot of walking, a lot of stepping. Your calves will be fired up. You really want to release them. So just lunge into it a little bit. Straighten that back leg. Press your heel into the ground. If you're not feeling it, lean forward a little bit more until your heel comes off. And then press that heel down. And you're going to feel that increased stretch. Other side. Well done. One foot forward. Take your other leg back. So your heel's off the ground. Press that foot, that heel into the ground. Creating a nice deep stretch there. Straighten that leg. Lunge forward a little bit. Good. Beautiful breeze coming through now. The sun's setting over here. Big breath in. 
breathe out, squeeze into that little bit more. Perfect. Last thing we're gonna finish off just a little upper body movement here. I want you to take your hand out in front of you. Turn your thumbs inwards so your thumbs are facing down. Take your hands over the top and interlock your fingers and which you can twist through. I want you to push your elbows away from you, creating a rounded back. It's gonna stop you from getting any knots in your back, spreading that lactic acid out. Good. And release, take your hands on your lower back here. Now think about pulling your elbows back together. Some of you are more flexible than me, so you want, if you can think about your elbows touching behind you as you lift your chest up, that's gonna be exactly where you wanna be. Good, breathe. Let's do that one more time. Hand out in front of you, turn your hands inwards so your thumbs are facing down. One hand over the top, interlock your fingers. Twist through, push through the center. Now just drop your chin down to your chest. Create a stretch down the back of your spine. Breathe, do a little twist side to side. Just play around different angles here. Remember, it's your body, you know how it feels. You know what your body needs. And release, hands on low back. Let's stretch your chest out, stretch your shoulders out. Lifting your chest up. Well done, squeezing your elbows together the best you can. Big breath in. Big breath out, take your hands up here. Come out. Two more. And last one, big breath in. Big breath out. Take your hands down here, give yourself a massive round of applause. Guys, hope you enjoyed that cool down. Well done, and I'll see you at your next workout, baby. Whoosh.